Hi everyone, so I'm back with one of the biggest off-campus opportunities right now. So if you don't know, TCS has just opened registrations for TCS Code Beta Season 13, which is one of the biggest coding competition that TCS organizes and hires from. So TCS has three different roles, if you don't know. They have TCS Ninja, they have TCS Digital, and they have TCS Prime, which is the best role at TCS, which has a CTC of 9 to 11.5 LPA. And with this competition, TCS will be hiring a lot of people so this is a great off-campus opportunity and let me tell you this is open to all of you. So the eligibility is 2026 graduate, 2027 graduate, 2028 graduate and 2029 graduate. So no matter what college you're from, no matter what year are you in, you can take part in this competition and this is a great opportunity. So I do suggest that you register for it. So in this video, we'll be talking about how you can prepare for this. We'll be talking about how you can eventually crack it. And we'll be talking about how you can eventually crack the best role in TCS via this competition. So let's get into it. So the link to register is in the description box and I highly suggest that you register for it. Even if you don't want to get a job at TCS, I still recommend that you register for it because it is going to be a great experience. You'll be solving a lot of good quality problems and you'll be getting to know your ranking in a large crowd. So you'll know what place to improve in. You'll know what basically where you stand and you'll know more about your coding skills, right? So I highly recommend that you do register for it. So we'll be having three rounds. The first two rounds will be online and the third round will be offline. And basically you'll be invited via TCS. All your travel stay will be reimbursed by TCS. So it's going to be a great experience. Talking about the first two rounds, because this is going to be important for you to crack a role in TCS, you will be getting an interview call based on your rating, based on your ranking in these rounds. So it is very essential that you perform well in the first two rounds. So how do you prepare for them? Because right now you have enough time to prepare. So let's talk about how you can prepare for them so that you get a good ranking. So the first thing that you need to do is have an expertise in any programming language and you can choose any programming language, but I highly suggest choosing either C++ or Java because these two are great programming languages suited for problem solving. So you have to master the syntax of the programming languages because I see a lot of people having syntax issues and having compiler error in the competition. So make sure that you avoid that and make sure that you master the syntax of the language that you're learning. Now, after mastering the syntax of the language, you need to learn the library of it. So C++ has STL, Java has collection. You need to make sure that you're very good with the library of it because in there you'll be using inbuilt data structures, you'll be using inbuilt algorithms and that will help you a lot in saving time during coding and in solving complex problems. So make sure that you practice well enough both STL or collection, whatever basically you're learning in your respective programming language. Now I'll be giving a lot of resources in the description box for all of the things that I'm mentioning. So you don't need to make any notes. I'll give all of the resources in the description box. You can just have a look at the description box after watching the video. Now, after you're good with the programming language syntax and the library, now you need to start solving problems. So let's talk about the coding challenges. So you'll have two first coding challenges. Both of those will be six hours and you'll have to solve six problems. Okay. First three, first two to three are going to be very easy. They're going to be like very easy. And the important topics for them for the first two to three problems are going to be arrays, strings, basic mathematics like HCF, LCM, or basically odd, even prime number, composite number, these sort of things. And of course, the important topics will also be mentioned in the description box. So these are the the kind of problems that basically you'll be seeing in the first two to three problems out of the six problems. Now, after the two to three problems, the next two to three problems are going to be a bit difficult. So they're not going to be very difficult, but you'll be seeing a bit more difficult topics. So you might have stack, queue, you might have linked list, you might have problems from there. You might even have a graph related question, right? So these sort of questions you can expect in the later half, but it is still not going to be that difficult if you've practiced well enough. So what do you need to do? I'll give some resources in the description box. So there are two sheets that I want you to follow. One is Striver sheet, which has a lot of great quality problems. And if you do that sheet, then pretty much you won't need to worry about anything, right? Any coding competition. So do Striver sheet, do easy, medium problems. You don't need to do all the hard problems, do few hard problems so that you get an idea of it. Apart from that, there's a sheet dedicated to TCS problems, right? So do that sheet as well. That also I'll give a link in the description box. Apart from that, the most important thing that you need to do is do previous year questions, right? So in the last year, TCS Code Vita, the year before that, they have asked problems and they are out there. So you need to solve them. And don't worry, you, need, you don't need to find where the problems are. I'll give all of them in the description box. So make sure that you practice the previous year questions. 
because that will give you an idea of the type of questions that they will be asking, right? So to reiterate, the first two to three problems will be very easy, either based on array strings, mathematics, or some basic array algorithm, like searching, sorting, something very simple. After that, one or two problem, maybe from stack, queue, heap, linked list, some standard data structure. And the next two problems will be a little bit difficult. So you can expect a tree problem, you can expect a graph problem, but only sort of standard problem or a variation of a standard problem. So not be getting something too difficult, you'll be getting only medium hard problem. All of the problem will be around medium hard, nothing will be too difficult. So one thing that you do need to focus a lot on is your speed. Because in such a great competition, a lot of people will be solving the exact number of problems as you are able to. So what matters is your speed. If you're able to solve it faster than them, then you'll get a better ranking and eventually you'll be the one that will get the interview call. So you need to be very fast with your coding skill. So what I will suggest is take part in a lot of coding competitions. So you have coding competitions on code forces, on lead code. Once you take part in them, you'll have a good idea of working under time pressure, right? Because you'll have a time constraint. You won't get the entire day. You won't get a week, right? You'll be only having a limited time in which you need to do the problems. So make sure that you practice well enough with coding contests. I highly suggest coding contests on code chef. I highly suggest coding contests on code forces and lead code. At the very least, do problems on lead code in lead code contest. With that, you'll get a good idea. So you can do contests on either code chef, code forces or lead code. My suggestion to you will be lead code. Or if you're a beginner, you can start with code chef. Their problems are generally a bit easier. So if you give enough contests and if you do enough problems from the resources that are mentioned in the description box, it will be very easy for you to clear all the rounds in TCS code beta. Trust me, it's not going to be very difficult. And if you practice well enough, if you utilize the time with the resources that are mentioned, you will be very easily able to get a good rank in among the competition, right? And if you get a good rank, not only will you get a good cash prize, not only will you get a good experience, but you will get a chance to work at TCS at one of their best role. And let me tell you, do not underestimate TCS prime role. It has a decent package and you'll be getting to work on the latest technologies. You'll have a good scope from promotions. And of course, you'll be able to switch from there as well. So TCS prime is not a bad place at all to start your career with. It is one of the best roles that service based companies offer. So this is again a great opportunity. If you have any doubt about preparation, make sure that you ask to me in the comments. I'll be there to guide you. So I highly recommend that you do register for it. The link to register is in the description box and make sure that you go through all of the resources in the description box and start preparing for the next 30 days. And trust me, you'll be able to get a very good rank. So yeah, if you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.